Hi, good morning everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Miss Kelly just looked so perfect this morning. Hi lady. Out here enjoying the sunshine, laying on her comfy grass. Hi Paige, hi Janet. Good morning Helena, hi Renee, hi Nancy. Hey Tammy and Pat, good morning Paige. Thank you, Chris, for sharing. If you guys can take a second and share this live feed or tag your friends and family. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Cassie. Good morning, Misty. Hey, Karen. Hi, Kali, baby. <laughs> it's actually kind of a, a little bit of a cool morning. There's a little bit of a cool breeze. Good morning, Lisa. Hi, Mary. Just watching Kali have her after breakfast bath. Hi, Mary. It's good to be back. <laughs> Hi, Susan. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Reliving your adolescence <laughs> takes a lot out of you. I am exhausted. <laughs> I barely have a voice. My driving foot hurts, all the things, but it was worth it. It's good to be back though. Hi Annette, hi Jody. Thank you guys for sharing this. Hey Bella. Let's see where she's gonna go off to. She usually spends most of the day in her den or over in the roof section, but I was happy to see her out. Oh, big stretches, laying. In the cozy grass. You can tell she's been rolling around out here a lot. There's a lot of flattened grass. <laughs> oh, we're just going to switch sides. I feel you, babe. I have to do that all night, every night. Keep switching sides so one hip doesn't hurt. <laughs> just so one hip doesn't hurt. Oh, thanks for asking. The concert was amazing. <sighs> After not seeing them for over 11 years, I was very happy, but ooh. Very tired now. They're actually coming to Florida, which would have been a closer show, but for some reason the ticket prices were insane for the Florida show, so I drove to Atlanta. But now I secretly still want to spend the money and see them in Florida too. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway. Anyway, it's always good to come back and see our babes. So I haven't actually seen Afton or Erin to see if there's anything from the weekend that I don't know about, but um, what I can say is I, I believe Victor and Jamie are going to be working on a structure um, outside on Gilligan's former enclosure in order to make it possible for him to move back outside, but where we can try to you know, still keep him close quarters. He'd still have air conditioning, but he'd still be outside like he has been his whole life. Even though he's doing well indoors, um, it's still safer and, and easier to be able to care for them outside. So I think that's something that they're doing. Also, oh, flop. The one that has me a little more stressed out than not, and that's where I want to go next, is Mr. Jinx. So you guys know that Jinx Leopard um, has been documented uh, with like, different urination issues, um, possible UTI, possible like it was like pinkish red urine, and we've been medicating for that. He's starting to act a little grouchy to people. Um, he gave a good piss last Tuesday to a keeper, and then I guess on Saturday he was a little testy again too. So. I believe Dr. Justin may be coming out to do a full exam on him. He's a 23-year-old black leopard. Just want to make sure that there's nothing crazy going on. So I think that may happen tomorrow. Things could change if he's just like totally 100% today. Um, but we think it's time to just go ahead and do an exam. Heads up on that. So let's go try to find him. Hopefully he's 
not already in a den, but he might be. He seems to like eat breakfast and then he tries to go into a den and do his grooming and take a little power nap. And then by the time the cleaners are coming around and cleaning, he is a lot more playful and active. And that's when people have been watching him go potty and then <laughs> documenting what that's been about. So I have no idea where he's gonna be. He's kind of been shaking it up <laughs> on us lately. Certain areas of the cage that he usually likes have been really like wet from all the rain. So he's had to like come up with new routines. So, so please just good vibes to Jinx and that it's nothing too crazy. Maybe he's just having an off time. We all get them. Okay, definitely not on this side. I won't be able to read your comments for a few because he is very easy to walk right by because he just blends in so well. The other night it was pouring rain and it was time for meds and I walked up and down his football field length enclosure and he just happened to be in this den, which I had never seen him in before. So it must have been the one he was closest to when the rain started. And I like did not see him there twice. <laughs> There's a Manny. I'll stop and see Manny as well, but I definitely want to find this boy. Very sneaky boy. I guess we'll stop for you real fast. Gotta show somebody. I show somebody. Hi, Mr. Man. He's like, I'm ready to go on this side. We can't put you on that side yet. You can't go over there until they clean that side. Yeah, it's true. I know, I'm a day late for Manny Monday. But today feels like a Monday to me, which is terrible. It's terrible to have a Tuesday that feels like a Monday. Goodness. very disturbing. I'm very disturbing. Yeah. Alright, where's your neighbor? Where's the neighbor boy? Where's that neighbor boy? No? Okay. Uh -uh -uh. I have a feeling he's already in this den. So, anyway, good vibes for Jinxie. He's done well with exams in the past. Oh, oh there he is. <laughs> you were on the move. You were on the move, buddy. <laughs> Where were you going? Where were you going? There's a Jinxie over there. Hi, sweet guy. I missed you. I missed you over there. You can come see me. You're on a very wrong side for me to be able to show you. <laughs> you gotta come show everybody how cute you are. I have to pretend like I'm gonna leave. Let him have some time to decide what he wants to do. I <laughs> will just walk around the corner. See if he moves. He's looking at me like, wait, I was just playing a game. Don't worry, I'm not really leaving. Not really leaving. I've been wanting to see your face for four days. I've been wanting to see that Jinxie face for four days. You can't hide now. You can't hide now, sir. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. Hi. Hi, my love. I found you. I found you. I found you, my love. Yes. Now where are we going? He's like, I'm gonna go back on the other side where you're not gonna be able to see me again. Handsome guy. My handsome boy. Oh, thanks. Thanks, I missed you. I missed you. 
So he's still been eating well. He's still being seen by keepers um, playing and drinking tons of water and doing all of his normal things. But at 23 years old, with him acting grouchy to people, we know that the last time that happened, he was having a couple issues. What you doing, bud bud? Where are you going? Where are you going? You wanna hang out? I would love to hang out with you. Yeah, thanks for all of this. I know that's your side of the fence. This is my side. Are you gonna pee? I could catch it on camera right now. <laughs> He's got to be like, you weirdos are always filming me while I pee lately. Oh no, don't lay there. That'd be a terrible spot to see you behind the safety gate. He's like, yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to lay behind two layers of wire so you can't see me very well. That's all right. It's Jinxie's world. We're just living in it. Oh. Now where are we going? Maybe it dried out back here and he's like, Yay, my favorite bubble's back. My favorite bubble's back. You're just playing hard to get. Look how active you're being. He's like, okay, bye. At 23, Jinx is the oldest resident here at Big Cat Rescue. He times that age by six. That's what they say. Roughly, he would be in human years. So he's a very sweet old man. I'm following you. I can't get enough Jinxie time. There's no way I could get enough Jinxie time. your big machinery. What are they working on? You can see his leopard spots when he's in the sunshine. I'm glad I didn't get grumpy, Jinx. I heard stories. I heard stories that you're being very kind. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. white whiskers in his old age. He's so handsome. Wish you had a ball in this section. I, I think you'd be playing with it. But you move them. You're kind of like Manny in that sense. There's a lot of hoarding of toys all in the same section. So we initially, when we set them up with toys, they each section gets a toy <laughs> but you'll go look in one of his middle back sections and he's got like six toys in one section very goofy is chaos out is that why you're looking this way we haven't seen chaos in a little bit should we go look for her all right I'll be back give him a second to find out where he truly wants to lay down without my influence and then <laughs> we'll go back over. Let's see where Miss Chaos might be. Thank you to everybody helping out in the comments. <clears throat> I was hoping I would wake up with a voice today so <laughs> yeah and I should try as hard as I can to get as much done at my desk as I can today because the rest of this week and next week are going to be pretty, pretty busy. There she is. Hi, honey. Hi, can I show your little pom-poms? It's okay. Here's a Miss Chaos. Oh, it's very sunny behind you. Yeah, maybe I come this way? I know, but I'm moving farther away. That'll make you happy. Here's our little pom-pom girl. This is Chaos Caracol. See, that humidity in Florida is not helpful to my hair. I feel you, girl. I feel ya. 
doing very well. You guys know she had a broken toe that she was healing for a while. She's done really, really well. It's so pretty. Breakfast must have been pretty good today. I don't see anything on anyone's plate. For all the other cats, no news is good news. The only only two cats that the vet group's been talking about recently in the last week has been Gilligan and Jinx, which I've just updated you on. Everybody else is doing pretty good. They talk about Moses a little bit as well. We've put him on some meds to see if it helps with his mobility, but he's eating like a champ and doing all the things she needs to do. Right, babe. I know I had to I had to readjust, I'm sorry. You just had to readjust, babe. Thanks for letting us hang out. Thanks for letting us hang out, lady. Ooh, I was able to stand up and walk away without having the official goodbye from <laughs> Chaos. Her hellos and goodbyes are exactly the same. Hoping that she would finally bond with a keeper once we moved Cyrus away. And there are some people that are having kind of different interactions with her now and they give her sickles and things like that. She's still very sassy though. Are you still up moving around, sir? I thought you would have found a place. you would have decided on a place. Look at you. Look at you, sneaky guy. Look at that sneaky guy. Well, good to see you so active. Yeah, it's good to see you so active. Sneaky. Can't be so sneaky. Oh, he thought you were going to lay there. <laughs> All right, my boy. So, lots of good vibes for our buddy here. We'll let you know if there is a vet exam. I'm sure it would be after Dr. Justin's work day, so it'd be like later in the day to afternoon. It's so good to see you, buddy. If I don't want to go away, I move my desk out here with you today. Can I do that? Would you tolerate it? Answer my emails. <laughs> He's like, nope. <laughs> no thanks. No work for me. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Oh goodness, don't topple over. No, he's definitely not being grumpy to me. He's actually being a lot more social than he normally even is.
figure out where he wants to lay down. Um, so I don't know if we're moving cats this week or not. <laughs> I have not heard. <laughs> we keep joking around that Marianne just officially lives in Funcation because she's also going to be very difficult to catch and bring home anyway. That's a good spot, buddy. You hang out right under there. You guys might be able to keep your eye on him on his ricotta camera. I don't know if you can see under the platform very well, but if he decides to lay up top there, you will definitely see him. But I know that they're still working on Max and Marianne's enclosure. I think they're still planning to build a new platform for Jasmine, which I think is where, yeah, all the heavy equipment with the uh, lumber is over at Jasmine's cage. So. But if that's the case, we'll probably be moving cats Thursday morning and then all day long we'll have to be mowing and weed eating and checking plantation and vacation, considering it has been <laughs> five, almost six weeks of them being on vacation. So that's going to be a lot of lawn work. <laughs> Well, I'm in my small shirt, so we're at least going to go drive by her real quick. Ooh, this part's squeaky. Very squeaky. sunbeam. Hi cutie pie. Hi cutie pie. <laughs> yes, I'm in the small shirt today. I need to do another big order, but slow blinks. Shiloh has a really cute shirt. So does Ariel. They're kind of the same style. Jinx has one like that too. Uh, Natalie kind of did like a portrait of them in like a pretty colorful circle with their name and stuff on it. I just saw over the weekend several people ordered Gilligan items from BigCatRescue.biz as well. He does also have the design from Cindy. And Frankie has a design similar to Gilligan's from Cindy as well. So if you want to wear a bobcat a day, <laughs> BigCatRescue.biz. Even if you can't wear them to work, they can be your after work or just your sleep shirt because I really like the the brand from Big Cat Rescued Up is there are certain like the heather colors are so soft. <laughs> He's like, groom or lay here and be cute. Oh, belly. Look at that belly. Solar panels engaged. <laughs> yep, we do have walkabout shirts for this year. Walkabout's coming up in November. Jamie does design every year, so there is one. This is a big one because this year's our 30th year. I'm also going to take, I think, the same exact design she put on this year's um, 2022 walkabout shirt, and I'm going to be um, adding that design where it's just talking about it being the 30th anniversary. So I will be adding that um, in the coming week or so. Look at that cute boy. Look at that cute boy. My goodness. Lisa, we are doing a calendar. Uh, Jamie usually starts working on it right about now. I think she actually did start working on it last week. 
Um, and it usually, I will be honest, there have been years where it came out as early as like end of October. There have been years where it doesn't show up until almost New Year's. Um, you guys know everything's cat time and everything's weather related around here. So when it rains, she gets stuff done in the office. When it's not raining, 67 acres worth of work. So, but yes, there will absolutely be a calendar for next year. Oh, Philip, look at you up there. That's a good spot. I know you'll move if I actually come over there. So let me just look. There he is on his little fern shelf. On his little fern shelf. What a good boy. I know she was trying to make sure that this coming calendar would have every single cat on property in it. Um, we don't always do that because for many years, we had way too many cats that would fit, uh, fit in a calendar like that. And this year she wanted to do it that way, but neither of us have a single good photo of Val. So she might be the only one not in the calendar. We just can't, can't work it out. Well, Smalls is up in the, like, V of that tree. So I don't know to show her. So, like I mentioned, they potentially are thinking about building sort of the same kind of roof structure, maybe even disassembling the one that we built for TomTom Tom and bringing it over. Not totally sure what the exact plan is going to be, but that way Gilligan could come back outside. Misses. I don't think I got to show her much last week either. Afton said the other night she was out um, feeding Mouser his PM diet and she heard like this jingling and rattling and when she looked over <laughs> Summer was playing with this purple toy that has like a ball inside of it and she wanted to get some good footage of it but if you walk too close then she would quit playing so she got some like distant short video of it happening it was so cute biggest toy ever for smallest cat she likes to spend her evenings in this front bubble but during the day she's all about the back bubbles There's a Miss Miss. Hi, Misses. Hi, pretty girl. Are you out here talking? You out here talking to Summer? Miss Miss. I miss you, little lady. Where's that Summer girl? Where is that Summer girl at? You zoom in. I bet you're zooming. I can tell. I can tell that Miss Mist. So cute. So cute. Where's your summer girl? Oh, here's that summer girl. I bet your tail's telling me. We're doing lots of scent marking, aren't we? Oh, that's my little miss, miss. Yeah. Where's that summer girl? Do you see her? Just see where her is? Miss Miss. She's kind of 
our forever kitten as well. Never got very big. Never got very big. Stretches. That was one very busy tail, lady. That is one very busy tail. Where's your neighbor girl? Where's that neighbor girl? You are. Oh, she's so cute. You love me, Miss Miss. Oh, it is like a. Oh, there she is. The usual. The usual. In my ferns. Just creeping around in my ferns. There she is. Hi, Sumsum. Miss Summer Baby. <laughs> I can't get any closer or I will absolutely get stuck in the mud. I will get stuck in the mud. Pretty much stuck on this paper right here. You can see that I would just sink and probably lose my shoe. So, I'll have to just see her from here. She just has built so many cute little like tunnels in this fern area back here. It's adorable. Like you can tell all the places that she lays. She's flattened some of it down. And then she can just totally disappear. <laughs> He's so darling. You're so darling. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, I gotta drink some water. <laughs> I have to go all the way in my water box to drink my water. Because you just can't. <laughs> just can't drink out of the front of the bowl. It's got to be the back of the bowl. Be drink of water, Sumsums. <laughs> Suzanne, I think she probably thinks that she has, like, every word in existence is her name because... <laughs> I'm sure everybody out here has a different saying and a different nickname. Well, cutie patootie, she's like, it's all about summer. Goodness sakes, a big drink of water. Drink of water. Yeah, even if I was in my boots, I still wouldn't have wanted to walk in this mud because I've had that happen in vacation before where like the suction of the mud is so intense that like you almost um, like you're stuck. Like you might as well leave your shoe there and then just walk away. <laughs> so it like almost turns into concrete. It's crazy. And there she goes, back into her maze. Long drink of water means she can spend some napping time now. <laughs> oh, baby girl, so sweet. But you can see we have these pavers that are practically sinking into the ground. But that's not the only way to get back here right now. All right. somebody got stuck here <laughs> to jump across to the roots. <laughs> Looks like we just added these pavers here. All right, 
Well, let me go around this muddy area and go see if we have an aerial out. Ariel is also known for her perfect little bobcat tail. Maybe there's a mouse mouse along the way. And then I think we'll pop over, say hi to Cyrus, and that's where we will stop for today. Weather permitting, I should be able to do a morning walkabout uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, there's Mouser. I was like, he's usually front and center. Up on his throne. Yeah. Hi, cutie. Yeah, I missed you last night for meds. He did, cute boy. He seems very, very happy in this new enclosure. Your Saturday peeps really looked out for you. Those ladies worked hard. They built Mouser this extra bubble out of scratch and attached it to another older bubble give him a bigger space with the 2x4 wire, which is obviously smaller than the 4x4. Is there an aerial? Yep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show her very well. We put all kinds of extra wood on this platform so that no cat would think that they wanted to jump from it. Since all of our cats are so much older. But there's a tail! There's an aerial tail! Don't think I'm going to be able to show your face, but... There you are! There that girl! There that pretty girl! <laughs> she does have a face, but it's very well tucked so I don't think we're going to get a good view of her. She's doing well. Let's look at the side to see Mouser again. Looks like cleaners are coming out. All the cats are still grooming. Master's really content over here. It makes me happy. Okay, well, let's go see Mr. Cyrus. I haven't said hi to him yet since coming back. missed any of this live you can rewatch it it'll post right here on Facebook as soon as it's done and then oh there's a Gilligan up in the window he must be deciding he wants to lay on that uh, <laughs> that box in the corner <laughs> Gilligan has a camera you guys can watch but he was clearly just up on top of that box. There he is. Maybe he took a wrong turn. <laughs> Did you take a wrong turn, sir? What a good boy. He's been a very good indoor patient. Drinking lots of water in there. He's a very messy drinker though. We definitely see why he looks wet all the time. He practically rolls around in it while he drinks it. You guys can find his camera for as long as he's inside at bigcatcams.com. All right, 
Let's find this chilly boy. Hopefully he didn't put himself to bed. There's MJ. Where's my Cyrus? Hi! Where's my Cyrus boy? Are you in there? I know it's very loud with all your waterfalls. Cyrus! Where's my boy? Okay. <laughs> Come here, sweet boy! Come here! I miss you! Oh, there you are! Hi, love bug! Hi, love bug! Oh, very bright. Ah, I know, it's so bright and sunny over here. Love you, cute boy! Did you have a good weekend? Good weekend. Yeah. AMJ giving you fresh waters. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, sir. You got flower petals on your butt. You got flower petal on your butt. No. I know, it's very bright over here, huh? Yeah, it's very bright over here. I missed you. Heard you were a good boy. <laughs> very precious. Fresh waters now. <laughs> Tearing down all your weeds. Oh, yes. <laughs> like stuff all over you now. You have just stuff all over you now. Rolling around. You're everybody's grand finale, sir. I can barely see though. Well, thank you so much. If there were any donations today, I really appreciate everybody who um, shared this. Tag your friends and family. Don't forget to do some shopping. BigCatRescue.biz. You can sponsor any of the cats you saw on the live today over there as well. Help with any of the new medications some of the cats are going on and possible vet exams coming up. Cute boy, am I supposed to follow you? I will. Where we're going? Probably out of the sun. Probably out of the sun. More shady area. Yeah. What a good boy. Crashing into everything. It's been very destructive. Really appreciate everybody who helped out in the comments. Right, Bob? You'd be the best moderator ever, wouldn't ya? Always got something to say. Yes, you do. You always got something to say. Goofy. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Rewatch this at dailybigcat.com. And weather permitting, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Are you following? Yeah. He's like, I show you where to go. I'm going to show you where to go.